Hello everyone and welcome to lesson 1.6 of the Mind Studio Level 1 course. This is the last video of our course and at this point if you've been following along with us, you have learned how to navigate the Mind Studio editor, you have learned how to write your own prompts, you have learned how to make automations workflows, you have learned to choose your model and use multiple models inside of your AIs, you've learned how to test and debug your AIs, and now it is time to finalize our project. Finalizing your AI project involves a few steps, and in this lesson, we're gonna guide you through configuring your AI's metadata, some global settings, and all of the steps required in order to successfully publish and deploy your AI. So before we publish our AI, we need to go to our config file. Our config file is the root file in our resources tab. So if we click on untitled AI here, we'll be taken to a full menu where we can begin to enter the metadata for our AI. The general details section will allow us to add our AI name. So let's go ahead and write our name, sales collateral generator. And we can add a description, something like generate bespoke sales collaterals for all of your potential customers. Next, we're going to move on to the global settings. And here you're going to be able to set up an onboarding workflow. Now for this course, we're not going to really dive into the onboarding workflow. This is actually something we're going to be covering on the level two course. But this essentially allows you to set up some personalization options for when you use the AI. These are going to be global settings. And it's going to act as context that we can apply to our AI prompts. We're not gonna to touch this for now, but I recommend that you continue on to the level two course in order to start learning about onboarding flows. Next, we can add some icons and media here. And if you're looking to create some icons and media, I will link to a really good site in the description of this video. It's called Recraft. And what it does is it's an AI image generator. It allows you to create all sorts of different images for your AI. All you need to do is click uh, whether you want a vector image or a raster image, you input the size of your image, and then you tell it what you want to see and you have the ability to have levels of detail, choose your styles, all sorts of things like that. And you tap on recraft and it will generate an image for you. And I really like this tool. It's really great for just quickly generating some images. I already have uh, some images that I have generated and I'm going to be using inside of our AI workflow, but I will link to Recraft so that you have access to generate high quality images for your AI. So let's jump back into the Mind Studio editor and I will go ahead and add my app icon. Here we go. And I will go ahead and add my social sharing image which I have here. And if we have any images for a preview gallery on our landing page, we can also add those here. So here I have a few images that I can use. There we go. Maybe we'll leave, uh, the, we'll leave this one out. And we can go ahead and include these images here. You also have the ability to add a preview video. So if you'd like, you can add a video about how this works and it will appear in the gallery. Now you'll notice on the right hand side that you can actually see these changes live as we make them. So we now have our title, our description, our buttons and our preview images. If we move to the next section, we can choose to display a custom landing page for our AI. And so this is great if you're planning on just having a standalone AI that's not embedded anywhere. You'll add your landing page content in this section here. I have gone ahead and I have written something. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it in here. So here I have my entire landing page that I've taken some time to write out. You can see here on the right hand side that this is a preview of what my landing page is going to look like. And just like that, 
we can actually publish this and we'll have a fully customized AI landing page and an AI that is working properly. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and publish my AI. And at this point, you can share your AI by just sharing the URL here, or you can tap on the share button to share it to various uh, social media sites. As you continue down each section, you'll be able to tune some other settings. One of the premium features available on Mind Studio Pro is access to custom styles. And this is a really cool feature that allows you to completely brand the AI and the AI details landing page to your custom styles. All you need to do is click enable. And from this point, we can start to add our background color, text color, buttons and accent color. We can decide on the font we'd like to use and some corner styles. If you are in need of finding a good color palette, I recommend going to colors.co. I will also leave a link in the description. Uh, it has helped me generate this color palette here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy each color and inside of Mind Studio, I'm gonna paste in the colors here. So here I have a light blue color for my background color. You can see that's changed on the right. Next, I'll have my text color, which is this uh, dark blue here. Perfect, and then finally my button slash accent color. And for that, I want this uh, very bright blue color here. Awesome, so let's quickly pick our font family. I'm gonna go with uh, maybe something like Leto. I think that's looking great. And you can see how the corner style affects the buttons and the AI itself. So if we go square, you can see these corners are uh, very square, we've got rounded corners here, or we've got oval uh, corners here, which is a perfect, perfectly round shape here. So now we have our AI page, it is fully styled. Moving into our access settings, we can determine who gets to see our AI. If our AI is public, anyone browsing UAI might be able to find your AI inside of the showcase. So if you don't want folks finding it, just turn that off. And then for remixing, you can allow other people to remix your AI and build upon the thing that you've built. This is a really good way to clone other people's projects. If you like what someone's working on, check to see if they allow remixing and you might actually be able to build on top of it. If you don't want to allow remixing and you have something proprietary in there or you have an API key that is in there or some private information, you may want to disable remixing. You can also choose to password protect your AI so that only folks with the password are able to actually access your AI. This is a pro or business feature. In the next course, we're going to show you how to embed AIs on your website. All you need to do inside of the embedding section is enable API access and you'll get access to an embed code that will allow you to embed your AIs. This is also a premium feature available to pro and business users. As a pro or business tier user, you will also have the ability to charge monthly fee for access to your AI. You will be able to set the price for a monthly subscription to your AI. This is also a pro or business tier feature, but if you're looking to uh, have a subscription-based model with your AI, this is a great way to do so. In the billing section, you will be able to manage your subscription. Uh, you can see all of the features available inside of the pro and business tier, and you get access to some pretty cool stuff like premium models, including GPT-4 and GPT-4 Turbo. You'll have access to embedding AIs on your website or app, and people will not need to create a Mind Studio account in order to access your AIs if they're embedded on your site. You get the option to remove branding from your AI landing page and your AI page, and things like app password protection, advanced analytics. There's a lot of cool stuff that come with the premium tiers, uh, but it's totally fine to use the free tier if you're just messing around and building some AIs uh, for yourself. You'll then be able to access any invoices and your uh, payment settings. Obviously, we have no active subscriptions currently, um, and we have not received any invoices because we are not currently subscribed. We're subscribed to uh, a staff plan uh, for the purposes of this demo. 
So this is all of the steps required in order to publish our AI. Let's go ahead and publish it and then we can see it live and we'll, I'll leave this other tab open so you can see the difference. You can see how this changes. So when we open up the AI, we now have a custom landing page and this is the old version. You can see here now we have a custom branded landing page. When we open it up, all of the corners are rounded. We have a nice styled section here. The text itself uh, is a different font and it, it looks like a totally different app. And just like that, we have finalized and published our AI. And this marks the end of the level one course. If you watch from start to finish, you will have learned all of the essential skills needed to start building your very first AIs on Mind Studio. Also keep in mind, this is just the beginning in your AI building journey. We have two other courses that will be made available to you. The level two course will cover some intermediate building techniques and some intermediate features. And then the level three course will cover the most advanced feature set. And as you progress your skill set, as you start building AIs, you will want to know these other skills because we only covered the essentials here in the level one course. So that's it, congratulations. Thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you in the level two course.